Uh, well, I'm gonna go do the quest I found by accident. Uh, I was basically a baby. Also, need to ask for help, and then I ditch it because I didn't want to start the quest. Uh, yeah, I think I could have started the quest around here because there was a little thing here that I avoided. Ah, there it is, the Ossinid. Yeah, I passed by here. I think the Os this Ossinid was around here, but I avoided it. Um, going forward, the, it just got up to me and asked for help. Here that the quest started. And this kind of thing sucks. Because I think that just basic exploration would be kind of boring to to live stream. But I can't get out of those cutscenes when they just start automatically. And I, there was no indication that this would actually start. Get away from me. Uh, is that the basic show you were referring to? And... Uh, could this be related to Marianne? That's right, please help her. Yeah, I don't really remember what she asked for. The show of the nursing crows. Are... Hang on. There's... Uh... Let me check one thing. Narcissi... Groves or something like that. Okay, Google. Nars Eisenkreuz. In German. Nazissenkreuz. 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 Uh, in English, that would be. I fought you cross. Ah, Narcissus. Okay. Uh. Daffodil cross. Narcissenkreuz. Narcissenkreuz. I, I will forget how to say that. Oh. Uh. Big for narcissistic cuts is going to Well, but you are both. That's an interesting fight. They're both immune to each other. I'm saved. Wait, so Petit Cho is a finch? Petit Cho is Petit Cho. That's how Paimon introduced herself. Regardless, it's good that you are. Well, Petit Cho, now let me introduce this too. 
Uh, actually, I haven't yet asked you two your names. I am a knight who looks most reliable. You know the name. I seriously still hung up about that. <laughs> He's Ignos and Paimon is Paimon. Thank you, Knight Ignos, Squire Paimon. Squire. Squire Paimon, attend to my weapons. Squire Paimon, my shoulders ache. She's not my squire, we're companions. Attend to my weapons. Nah, you got it all wrong. Paimon's not squire, she's Ignos' companion. Actually, wait a moment. Your weapons need maintaining. Indeed, there's been a misunderstanding. We're companions, of course. Uh, don't you get, and don't you get that twisted? Uh, although I have indeed considered getting a squire in the past. Do you really want one? Seems like this journey has been pretty tough for you, huh? I see, I see. My apologies, Paimon. I am Petit Cho, a member of the. Narcissus and Croats adventure team. If not for your help, I might have. Well, Narcissus has girded his subordinates with the ages of four orthants, so our powers are unable to overcome them. That's how it is. But with you and your companion on our side, good night. We shall have nothing to fear. The princess will be pleased. Princess? One moment, who is this princess again? Also, what is this adventure team of yours? And what's going on with this Narcissus? Well, this is how things went. A long, long time ago, this was a kingdom of unparalleled gladness. The children and Princess Lyris lived happily together here. But late after the kingdom fell to the predation of Narcissus, a fell dragon who had designs on the princess and her treasures. Princess Lyris hid herself away in a high tower and entered a deep slumber. That is why we now name the kingdom Anapulsis. Narcissus filled Anapulsis with bitter waters. That which we just defeated was an evil being born from those waters, an entity that opposes the Reconquista. This time we attempted to infiltrate this place and rescue the princess while the dragon was absent. However, we ran into a great many foes and unfortunately we failed. Wait, but how long ago did that happen? And just now you're coming here. But now that we have you and Paimon on your side, Ignus, we have nothing to fear. Moreover, we have a princess, a kingdom, and a wicked dragon. Tradition and the stories dictate that we must also have a knight. Yes, a mighty and righteous knight like you, Ignus. Stories, tradition, I have defeated a dragon in the past. Yeah. I was not sure what you're going on about. But if it's dragons you want, you've beaten them before. Really, you have? That did happen. More than once, in fact. Really, you're so strong. It is a great fortune to have met you. Good night, Ignus. It seems that the time has come at last for the Reconquista. The Narcissan Crotch Adventure team shall reclaim the realm and rescue Princess Larry Lyris. Uh, come, Petit Cho, let us do as we planned. First, let's get rid of all this foul water. Uh, I'll do my best. Don't you guys like water? Uh, alrighty. What? Will they drain it all? Oh. Oh. Okay, I was expecting that. 
Uh, all this water. Is this some kind of oceanic magic? Hell, that offensive power has weakened. There will also be less obstacles for us to fight from here on out. Hell, this is so tiring. Uh, and Ignus, let's go help my brother all. Your brother? Is there another? Is he another character? Well, Pet Cho and I can be the only members of the team. We don't quite think that highly of ourselves. We certainly aren't as strong as you or Paimo. All covered our escape when we retreated. And now that Narcissus' power is waning, let's go help him. Well, then let's go. <laughs> the dead fish. Uh, this water bubble is such water. You need to proceed carefully. Oh. Uh, is that the sleeping princess or a slumbering dragon? Ah, is <laughs> is that the brother? Uh, then my permanent Nyignus after fighting dragon was sent off. To besiege their age. Uh, why was that again? Probably because I would try something inside the temples to increase the dragon's power. See, so there were temples in name, but then the view in truth. Four temples of the four winds, or just one? There were three actually. Uh, why were they only three? That's right, why three? It's been quite a while, there must be a reason, but we just don't remember it. That does make sense. The trivial details are brilliant. Ah, there's no time to read it all. I didn't even remember that. <laughs> Too slow. Jumping down deep. One with the soul. forest. There's a show. There's a show. I hear everything. Aren't you lacking some music now? Oh, you're safe. I was so worried. Oh, my dear Pericho, and you too, and we meet again at last. In those darkest of days, I thought of you and drew strength to fight on from those thoughts. Thank you, noble warriors, you who have come forth to uphold the cause of justice. Why, had I arms as linear as yours, I will tip my head to honor you. Can the ship shift since they are made of water? There's no need to be so prim and proper. And introduce you in Pyramid 2. Oh, explains what happened previously. But why is the Finch's older brother a duck? Why a duck, you ask? Aren't such definitions important? I have a supple body, an uh, iron wheel, and webbed feet with which to tread water. Of this I am proud, and that is enough. And Pericho is Pericho. The sphere is the shape closest to perfection, and the most complicated of all shapes. I am most proud of my sister. And seriously, brother, what are you talking about? Actually, what is all talking about? It means that we shouldn't dwell too much on these details. I don't know, but it's probably not important. Uh, we members of the Narcissus Crotch Adventure team are disparate, disparate indeed, but we have one goal. We shall save Princess Lyris and we shall defeat the fell dragon Narcissus. Well, said the person I and now knows only the one who stands before me is a noble and valiant knight who possesses the iron will needed to defeat Narcissus. That is enough for me. Usually, the mightier the will, the larger the form needed to 
to be its vessel, as it is in the case of Narcissus. This knight's stature is much like mine, and yet... Uh, seriously, the first and last thing Paimon understood here was Narcissus. You are always going on about Narcissus this, Narcissus that. But what is it, really? Look up, up above Princess Lyra's tower, that is Narcissus. Okay. Uh, that wasn't there before the water rose. Isn't that just an oceanid? God, good God, gosh, uh, the fell dragon Narcissus. Wait, I mean, that's an ocean, no matter how you look at it. It is uh, not a dragon, but that is the fell dragon Narcissus. The dragon who invaded the Narcissus Cross kingdom. Okay, I thought Narcissus Cross was because of Narcissus. So it's just an enormous coincidence. Both names. And its wings are very huge and frightening. But it's an ocean, isn't it? Well, in the Paimon, you have seen much. What then should a dragon look like? Well, uh, if we're talking about the dragons we fought before, they be like Monsters Zivali, like Lewis Asda, like Sumerus Apep. Well, scaly, I guess. Reptile-like. Well, the Valen is a whole different story from the Ocenids. The Valen is super blue, his wings are huge, and he can fly. Yeah, but they don't need to have wings. What? That's exactly like the Fell Dragon. Yeah. Oh, so now... It no, no, we've definitely met other dragons before. Ah, can I go to others? Good. Like Lewis Asdaha, who became the embodiment of primal energies in Lewis's enemy. I see. So he was being as evil as Narcissus then? No, but it's not, it wasn't a dragon because it was evil. No, not at all. And how are they different? Narcissus represents primordial regression and aggression, aggregation. And is our foe. Well, um, but as Daha's from Liu, that's a huge difference, right? No, no, we've definitely met other dragons before. Like Summer's a pep. A being whose true form cannot be grasped by humanity and who can summon all manner of servants. Come on, Paimon is a terrible explainer. That does sound quite like Narcissus. Inscrutable and a master of many servants. That must have been a grueling battle. Very impressive. Uh, Paimon's starting to get confused about what counts as a dragon. I'm confused as well. I never understood that in the first place. Categories are just social constructs. There's no objective meaning. Come on, that can be right. How would uh, would we be able to communicate and understand this world otherwise? I agree with the knight here. Our categories should not define our essence. Our purpose defines our essence. And at this time, we are the heroes challenging the wicked dragon. And he is the wicked dragon. This is sufficient. Yeah. Uh, this must be what all means when he says a rose by... By any other name, it would smell just as sweet. That is precisely the case, dear Petit Cho. We uh, were you not called Petit Cho, you would still be my dearest younger sister. So, so long as there is as that's the tower your princess sleeps in, uh, the one lurking atop the tower is the felt dragon Narcissus. Is that right? No, I fear. As we stated previously, he's, n he's not here now. Which is why we were able to win our way here so easily. That up there is a dragon's hatred made manifest. Oh. That's so complicated. Can it just be an ordinary statue? Like, you know, Narcissus commanding his underlings to make him an image of him on the highest tower. 
so as to show off his greatness and force all the people of the land to look upon him or something. Well, you actually make a reasonable point, Paimon, but if that was the case, then we should still have been able to see it even before Petitcho made the fall water disappear, right? But instead, Narcissus' evil has melted with the waters, which is why his wicked intent crystallized into that image once the waters were drained. Is that seriously how it happened? The fell dragon is truly terrifying, my talons hurt just looking at him. Well... We have our knight, Ignus, so we should be fine even if he is present, yes? It'd be best if he wasn't home at all. All the same, it's just a little dragon. That's our Ignus for you. Let us move on then. With you by our side, we have nothing to fear. Okay. Can we just, we just go there and fight it? Ah, there was one like that in Mondstadt a long time ago. Did someone drop their package? Uh, friend of four. Jack. Jack. Uh, thank goodness you're safe. Uh, as I thought, you were the ones who emptied the water out. Excellent, excellent. If I had hands like yours, yellow and white ones, I would be applauding already. You could applaud if you tried. Uh, dear friend, please show some respect. Petty Cho is doing her best. Uh, you're right, I suppose. She has done nothing wrong, ultimately. Forget it, the yellow and white ones here. Who are they? Yellow and white? You mean us? And who else would I mean? Does Petitcho look yellower than you? Or does Anne? Mm, Anne kind of looks whiter. Uh, hey, you blue frog. Alright, alright, Paimon. Don't, please don't get angry. Jack, is, this is Nine Ignus and Paimon. Uh, a knight, you say? Then I suppose this Paimon is the squire. No, no, come on, why does everyone call Paimon that? Paimon is no squire. Uh, Paimon is a bard who was tasked to record my adventures. I was my companion. Uh, is that how it is? No wonder Paimon is such a good talker. Hey, you stop that, Ignus, or Paimon is going to come up with a lively limerick to give you a licking like the legs of which you've never seen. Anyway, we're companions, alright? Companions. I see. Then, you are not some minor field of warrior. Uh, not in the usual sense, anyway. Are you then some honorary knight? One with the title that comes with little benefit. You should really get the rewards. Well, Ignis is an honorary knight, but he got it in Mondstadt for heroically doing battle with Storm Terror. Ah, and then you are a dutiful, capable warrior. Very good. In that case, welcome to Orchestra Jack. Uh, an orchestra? I don't know much about music. Well, wonderful, I am a master musician. The name is merely an analogy, for we weave resistance like an orchestra in our struggle against Narcissus as we seek to rescue Miss Lyris. Don't you mean Princess Lyris? That's right, isn't Lyris a princess? Well, both terms refer to the same person, but leaving that aside, we should... Listen well, the title Princess is a rich, hierarchical term of address, a product of an oppressive system. It was, it was a title was merit is birth, no labor or wisdom. Uh, here we go again. If the universe was a more rational one, there would be no gods, no kings, and certainly no princes or princesses. Nor would there be mythical powers that only a few may wield. Do you follow me thus far? 
Yeah, I'm not sure why you want to help her now. Uh, there will always be those who desire special privileges. Uh, didn't you put your name on your organization as well? This rabbit is closed, not for me. The organization. Uh, orchestra must have a conductor. Less no music be made out of cacophony. Hmm, this sounds really deep. But it's also confusing, Paimon. But not doing anything all day while being able to enjoy delicious sweet, ma sweet madams is pretty nice. Is there anything wrong with that? See, if there are some who will reap the benefits despite doing no labor, then there must be some who shall have to do more to compensate, like me. Uh, Pamela lacks the strength for labor, thus such compensations is my obligation. It doesn't matter to me, Pamela's happiness is mine as well. Uh, it would indeed seem so. Your line of thinking is fair and responsible. Mm, then thanks a lot, Ignis. Wait, Paimon does the work in her own way, doesn't she? This has been a very interesting conversation, but please allow me to interject. Dear Jack, uh, good night. We May we now begin discussing our next course of action in our rescue to Princess Lyris? Mm, silencing voices you do not want to hear, I see. Oh, Ignis. Come, see the repression inherent in the system. Help, help, Alice is repressing me. Jack, you... Always oh, doing that, he's a good person. He wouldn't bully you. Uh, dear sister, please, do not lose your temper of this. Uh, if you have more to say, Jack, why don't we find a corner and settle this like gentlemen, huh? Can I trouble you all? To stop for a second, I heard enough, see you around, he stops squabbling, we all have the same goal. Yeah, I'm not sure why he wants to help the princess now. Please everyone, aren't we comrades? We've all gathered to rescue uh, princess or miss Lyris after all. Uh, we count as such, I suppose, we shall cooper cooperate, even though my final goal is to create a more beautiful world for Miss Lyris. Let us shake hands then, comrades. Can you? You have wings, I have webbed feet. If you think this is apt replacement for hands, then we shall do so, comrade. <laughs> Jack and I'll shake hands awkwardly. If nothing else, they extend their wings and web foot and tap them together. Please get along with him, all. Of course, dear sister, do not worry, we are united in one cause. Alright, alright, now that the problem is solved. Huh, problem, this is but a, the manifestation of a deeper issue. Check, please. Okay, so what do we do next, And. Oh, right. I almost forgot that we were here to save pri the princess. Why, I was starting to think that I brought such capable help along just to let them listen to two boys squabble. As for the situation, ask Al and Jack to explain. I need a moment to cool off. Anne's having a tough time too, huh? Hmm, couldn't be the dragon somehow, or its offspring. Uh, you're pretty difficult yourself. He wasn't always like this. Uh, he once had a really good heart and loved to cry. He would take care of the younger children. But one day he said that he would never cry again, and later still, he changed. This may be due to Rene. Come on, there's a new person. I fear Rene changed too. And who's Rene? Um, sorry, where was I? Right, our course of action. You should ask Jack and the others. He and all might argue a lot, but they are actually good friends. Uh, I'm a bit curious what happens if I climb here. <laughs> too slow. The wind rises. <sighs> hmm. 
No. Oh, come on. Ah, yeah. I miss walking around the castle, huh? Squall and Fury. Ah, uh, okay. I can't walk here, but I can glide upwards. Uh, hang on. We will be able to stop there. Oh. Behold. That was totally my intention. Investigate. Unnecessary. Oh, one of the pages. Oh. <laughs> I didn't really notice. Oh, there's a bunch of things to check here still. <laughs> Squall and Fury. Is this are those were those fishes just randomly placed? Oh Jack, you Paimon don't. Mm -hmm. Knock it off, or we're going to start this all over again. Is there anything I need to do? Allow me to speak first then, honored knight in Paimon. Concerning the tower before us, Narcissus has been unable to overcome it. Uh, as such, the prince is still safe. At the time when Alsim lost, the princess gave her greatest treasure to us. And that was the time that belonged to her. Was she sleeping already? Uh, she she gave you her what now? Time, you say? After she lost the time, the princess and the tower she dwells both fell into a stagnant, dreamless slumber. In remembrance of her, we named our fallen realm the Anaposis. Yeah, I do really get it. Isn't N the name of the little one? And what does that mean? Because it has completely stagnated, Narcissus has also been unable to taint anything within. Uh, that's... That's more or less our situation. Uh, what do you mean more or less our situation? Firstly, how would someone give anyone else their time? Come on, Paimo. This is the strangest thing we've seen. But it's true. Princess Lyris did share her time with us. Narcissus would, would constantly pl plot to invade. But with the time she gave us, we became far stronger. Ah, oh, here you go. They are... Aren't they born from us? For example, my brother all can usually only defeat one foe at once. But with more time, he can vanquish four or even five at one go. You guys couldn't do sh anything against those water droplets. The most vivid example. Thank you for explanation, dear Petit Cho. <laughs> well, I hope you understand now, Ignus Paimo. Not at all, in fact. Yeah, how do you even give your time to other people? Uh, do these details matter? This is not how. Is this not similar to how feudal nobles would hire? Sharecroppers? How do you guys know about this stuff? Sharecroppers? How do those things even connect? Are you trying to say that exchanging time for pay is a form of giving you your time to others? Only a very small part of the wealth of 
a sharecropper creates will belong to him. If this is understood and regarded as normal by all, then what is there about this situation that is hard to comprehend? Why are you debating with an Ocenid? There's too much oddity at play here. Let's just leave this aside for now. That's true. Alright. Uh, Paimon totally gets it. Nurse has spent long years since searching for the princess treasure. Only its power can cause time to only its power can cause time in the tower to flow again. And only then will its locked gates open. Thus he summoned waters brimming with wicked intent to drown the kingdom, and create underlings unnumbered and many magical devices besides. All this was done to hunt us Narcissus and Crot's adventure team members down and seize the treasure that should have been in our hands. Wait, should have? Before, we had another older brother, Nay. In those terrifying days, he took the treasure and fled alongside us, but he dissolved into the waters while covering us. I miss him so much. We were very good friends. I hate the dragon, even though I know that the, these feelings are not good, but I miss Nay. He was like my real brother, just like all. So we're sorry for a loss. But if that's the case, how are we supposed to save Princess Lyris? The treasure has sealed the tower and it can only be opened again with said treasure. Well, uh, when they, uh, how do I put this? While they were consolidating our wear lines, we of the orchestra check obtained some key intelligence that has allowed us to ascend the treasure's location. Really, you have? Of course, it is right over there. Ah, that thing I saw. Uh, in the sky, as in the water in the sky. Um, before Nate solved, he used the less of his strength to purify a patch of water in the firmament. It, it was there that he hid the treasure. What an irony, it seems that Narcissus has gotten too used to looking down upon the city below and has not been in the habit of looking up, and there the treasure has been hidden all along. I see, well, this sounds like something they... it does sound like something they will come up. How do we get up there though? Um, could Pitch Cho and all take us up there? Very imaginative idea, but unfortunately impractical. If we go up there, we should find a small fountain full of magic. Options may open to us to re re reach it. Uh, are you feeling better now? And thank you, Paimon, but you need not worry. We must destroy the three bubble formations set up by Narcissus before we head up. What are those exac exactly? They are. Uh, underhanded contraptions powered by hydrograna that can bombard intruders from great distance. Perhaps you might have already seen one on, on the way here. And speaks true, the road ahead will be vastly more perilous if we do not first destroy those formations. Hmm. Cage, another person, should have been in charge of eliminating them before we attacked. But it seems he might have smashed into seafoam already. Don't say that. We should be hoping that he made it. He is our comrade in the end, isn't he? In that case, the next task is the destruction of the verbal formations. After that, let's go to the small fountain and see what we find there. In that case, leave it to Inus, from what Petit Cho and all have said, it seems like only his attacks will work. Oh. Uh, Paimon didn't mean to put you down. You guys have been fighting nurses and trying to save Princess Lewis for so long, but just leave this bit to Inus, alright? That's right, leave it to me. You may see it as an 
Night do Inder Duty. I like to see where the story goes to. You have my things. Alright. In that case, let me lead the way. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, 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 uh. What are you guys talking here? Quit following Where's me. Jack? If you can recover Princess Lyrin's treasure, the forces of justice will grow ever mightier with the passage of time. The day of our victory over Narcissus grows near. This is why you cannot forget Nay's heroic sacrifice. Had he not hidden the treasure, Narcissus would surely have already breached the tower where the princess resides. Yeah, Nay is super amazing. He will not we will not let Nay's efforts be in vain, uh, nor will we fail to honor Inus' extraordinary contributions. This time, with all your help, we will save Princess Lewis. Yeah, we'll save Princess Lyris, and then, and then, and then, the Nurses and Crowds Kingdom will be restored to its former radiant glory. The princess shall hold you in her arms, grow your feathers, and gently pat your tiny little forehead. The memories lost in the waters will resurface, and all of our friends will surround the princess and laugh together. It will be a scene filled with beautiful joy. And never again will disputes or trouble cloud the horizon. Just like before. That's right, just like before. Uh, where is. Oh. Uh, Ignis is still. Once we retrieve Miss Lyris' treasure, the key to victory shall be ours. We finally have a chance to defeat the invaders from without and save Miss Lyris. Thus shall Orchestra Jack perform. The last movement of the overture. Seriously, just the overture? I would have thought it was the climax of the symphony. Oh, you really think that everything would just come to an end after saving Miss Lyris and building the kingdom? Huh? The real world is no simple little fairy tale. It's because the world is full of naive simpletons that think, like you, that history always repeats itself. The next step is obviously to overthrow the deeply entrenched class structure and methods of distributing in society's wealth. In a world that is reasonably equal, equality must be reasonable, the reasonable state. And this is certainly what Miss Lewis strives for. Now, consideration for present circumstances has led to the to just a juxtaposition of that's my clue to leave. First, naturally, based upon we should construct a return. Okay. So, we could go in there. Can't you just aim at that? Picture and but okay, proceed along to far water. There's not 
Why there's so much text that just go right like that? Another one there. Oh, no. Take it and have fun. Let's nip that in the butt. Come on. I could have come here before. Keep up. Just come on, just aim at that. One with the forest. Yeah. The wind rises. Yeah. Well, guess we won't be worrying about this Mr. Bubble Cannon anymore. Well done, soldiers. A symbol. Uh, where's that voice coming from? The soldiers refer to us. Wonderful. It seems that Colonel Kate is still here. Let's go meet up with him. Oh. Damn. You look well. This is good. Uh, there, These two are reinforcements then? Yes, they are. Halt. To know, wish to know soldiers' names. Amid scroll battle, anyone can be turned into ruptured bubbles and scattered form at any time, knowing the names of the troops will only cast a shadow upon our final victory. I just need to know one thing. Are they the reinforcements you sought? Yes, but... Very good. Fresh hands will help us continue our suppression of the two remaining bubble formations. About that bubble formation... Next time, soldier, you will give your report first before asking questions. Yes, the formations are places of unparalleled peril. Do not mention the three mighty subordinates that Narcissus has placed within them. Well, about that, we actually cleared all the formations. What? Why didn't you say so earlier? I've been trying to tell you, but you haven't been listening. Uh huh. Well, then, it's good to see that everyone is well. So, and who are these people again? I'm Inus, this Paimon. Inus and Paimon, huh? Please to make your acquaintance. It's a pleasure to have new blood like you in Kate's resistant front. Let us 
fight for Princess Lyris and the Reconquista. Kate's resistant front. Uh, Iron Guy is the same thing as the Narcissus and Croats adventure team. Let me think. We are now the same thing, is how I would put it. Indeed, we have the same objective and plan of action. It is only because I have more common experience that I am a colonel uh, with my own force. Uh, where's the rest of your team? Aren't you just the same as Orchestra Jack? What? Where is difference night and day? Why, that Jack, one day people like him will warp the very essence of our resistance movement. Mm, isn't there Orchestra Jack or Jack's goal to defeat Narcissus and save Princess Lyris? Oh, sorry, Miss Lyris. Are your goals the same? Aye, uh, there's the rub. He does not recognize her as our rightful princess. He is simply put, a problem waiting to happen. Today, he refused to recognize her. What will he do tomorrow? Lead his orchestra to overturn the kingdom? Yes, that's his plan. Now. Uh, he knows what we do. Check this him like the sort of guy who might do that. That's an internal issue. Let's put a pin on in that first. Alright, alright. Our goals are aligned. We are all doing this for Princess Lyris and the Reconquista, right? Uh, it seems like the Narcissus Cross Kingdom situation is kind of complicated. Wait, what about your team? We charge bravely in into the bubble formation. Yes, yes, and where's your team? We charge bravely in the bubble formation. Yes, for the rest, please don't ask. Was like Colonel Kate's problem got problems too? Well, he's up against the main firepower, or should I say, water power. What's next for you? I'm planning on going behind enemy lines to see what can be done. After all, it should be quite easy to go up there now that the bubble formations have has been broken. I mean, I can't lose to some new recruit, can I? There's no shame in losing to me. This is a competition. Regardless, I shall return when the sun sinks into the sea. Victory is hard. Let us meet again before the high tower. How do we have notion of time here without the sun? Colonel Kate passes away. Wait, there's neither sun nor sea here. Uh, since the bomb formations are gone, let's head to the little fountain. It's just over there. Mm. Oh, is that? Oh, huh. is that first boar? An Osini? Oh no, Osini person. Hello? Sniff. Mori, no. Woof, woof, bad people. Come on. Well, we're gonna fight him. I don't want to find Mori. Why is it attacking us? You're dead. Oh. Did I kill it? Oh, good. Silly dog, Mori. Bad. They're good people. Oof, understood. Give Paul. You really are a dog. You and Pamo shake hands with Mori. It's a slippery experience, as one might expect of a dog made of water. Wait, now we are all introduced. Don't attack them, okay, Mori? Ah, so you're a dog. This makes much more sense. Does it? Does it really? How does Mori resemble a dog at all? They didn't all say that. What? Don't you go believe in that purpose defines essence nonsense? And even if you do, Paimon won't. But that's what Mori is, though. A silly dog. Hmm. Whatever. If an Ocinate can be an evil dragon, then a Force Boar can be a dog. Alright? Alright. I am a silly dog, yes. Oof. 
Uh, you've been a good boy, haven't you? Guarding this place. So, is Mori a member of your team? No, I mean, Mori's a dog. Uh, but a duck, a frog, a finch, and a squirrel can enjoy. So, why can't a dog? Mori is Mori. Mori must protect the princess. That's the princess. A long, long time ago, Mori played here with the princess. Oh, Petit Cho, Ney, and Jack. But the air and water were later filled with the scent of evil, and everyone left. Only the princess remains, so I protect her. So that's Princess Lyris. I thought she would be inside the tower. Right, it was mentioned earlier that the princess lost her treasure, which is why everything is stagnated. So this is where it was. Problem solved. Isn't the princess in the tower though? That's right, this is only a statue of her. Uh, seriously, another looks like it, but not really. Oof, oof, not the princess? Nope. Princess Lyris is in her tower. There are two princesses. No, silly. This one's not real. Oof, not the princess. Well, try giving a sniff. Sniffs. Oof, not the princess. Told you so. Well... It's an understandable mistake, in this an apostles, a boar is a dog, and also needs an evil dragon, and the evil dragon turned out to be a statue. And a duck and a finch are siblings, and screw is a criminal. Exactly. Uh, Paimon can feel her sense of what's real or not slipping away the longer we stay here. Uh, let's not swear over small stuff, alright? Okay, Mori, be a good doggy and descend the tower. Then meet up with everyone. Okay, what about you, Wayne? Me? Well, I'm going up with Ignis and Paimo to reclaim the princess treasure. I see. Okay, bye bye. Alright then, what do we do now? Use these bubbles. The princess will make this back when she would play with us. And they would fly very high up indeed. We will fly around in those bubbles during the round. That sounds quite exciting. That sounds like the trick those hydro abyss mages pull. Hey, don't say that's that about Princess Mage. Or whatever the case, we just need to sit in the bubble. And you take us up there, right? That's right. In the meantime, I'll do my best to control the bubble direction. Take it and have fun. Hmm. Ah. Uh, we're flying. Hmm. It sure looks deserted from up here. Of course, he's been ruled by Narcissus for many years, and he's just the worst. His underling steals snacks from children, burst balloons, and scream. And they sound bad, but not the way Pam was expecting. You mean the bad people aren't just like that, right? Well, if they were, this, this world would be a better place. Oh, there's a part up here. Oh. Uh, we were just flying up into the sky in a bubble. Yes, we were. And we kept going up and up and up until we crashed headfirst into the water, right? Yes, is there something wrong? Uh, is th <laughs> there's so much wrong with this that Paimon doesn't even know where to start. Perhaps this is just one of the kingdom's magical aspects. No one wishes to have their soul weighted down by gravity. Uh, you know what, Pam was just not gonna ask. The princess treasure should be around here somewhere, right? Yes, it is there, protected by a three-layered seal. Where? Oh, you mean that? Hmm. When there are other bubbles pretty big, the treasure seems to be seems to be inside a really small chest. Looks like they are 
some threads flowing water connected to the big bubble. Uh, it seems as if the bubble formations here will not attack us. In that case, let's use the use it to free the seal. We just need to guide its projectiles to the bubble rings and then to the water, the flowing water. That should transfer the force of the projectile through the water and weaken the seal. Yeah, those bubbles are pretty scary. Uh, one, two, three. Looks like there are three strains of water. Once we deal with them, the treasure should be ours. That's right. It's in your hands, the innocent Paimon. Okay. <coughs> I know how to use those. Uh, but I need the... Ah, oh, there's something blocky. Uh. What happened when I bash that? Come on. It was yellow first, wasn't it? Hey, below sure is below. I'm still feels afraid of height. Uh, if you fall, you have to ride the bubble all the way back up. No, I'll have a teleport. Okay, pretty straightforward. Move on left. Zero trees. It's principal, so it must be right. Then the final ring. Impressive as expected, uh, let's get chests. <laughs> we finally found it, the most precious of treasures. Looks like a pocket watch. Seems like it's not moving anymore. It got wet. Well, it has been in water all this time, so it should have broken down long ago, right? This is full of Prisoner's precious time. Uh, let's go back to the tower and meet up with our friends. Uh, okay. Oh. Did he die? You're back? Colonel Kate and Mori linked up with us uh, while we were out. Yeah, we're back with the Prince's treasure. Well done, soldier. You made a fine contribution. The resistance front is proud of you. Kate, no, it isn't the time. Not so fast, Colonel. It is a contact of the orchestra. Not a cannon folder for, from some no-name army. Huh. 
your orchestra couldn't hold the Indus, not unless you wanted to name it after him instead. Uh, well, what of your rank? You may as well give it to Ignus, no? The soldiers bleed while commanders steal the glory. This is quite ordinary. But you, you are not now you're special, a colonel who not only does nothing, but even lets his troops take credit for victory. <laughs> you, while you were well, while in your time away here, I was taking out the bubble formations in the waters above. If not for that, they will not have gained the treasure so easily. Stop fighting over me, all of you. I heard enough. See you around. Let's get this straight first. I didn't enjoy any of you. Uh, see you around. And that's it. I'm done. Mori, get him. Of bad person. More bows. Jack over. Uh, Kate laughs at him, only to also be knocked over by Mori. The altercation is eventually calmed by all and Petit shows mediation. Honestly. Mori is really reliable at times like this, huh? You know, in some ways... Let's get to business, shall we? Uh, that's right, we'll get nowhere if we keep arguing. Uh, and the more we go nowhere, the more we're gonna argue. Yes, you're both right. Mm, let's have speech then, eh? You know, the rousing kind. No, let's just go. Uh, but... I approve of Paimon's suggestion. Is it not at uh, such times that an adventure team's leader should step up to the plate? But I'm not good at speeches. And can you really call me the leader? Uh, surely as I am colonel, I affirm that you will be the best officer for this adventure team. My view on the title of colonel aside, we are in accord. I, I don't know much about leaders or glory or whatever, but if not for you, and if not for Yunus and Paimon, whom I brought, you brought here, I don't know what would become of me. Now, Yunus, Paimon, what do you say? Uh, this is what everyone wants. This is between you and them. Yunus means that since everyone says so, you should just accept it. Mm, well, in that case, what should a leader say in times like this? Let me one thing. Since we have Princess Lear's treasure, next we just need to enter the tower and rescue her, right? So we just need to encourage everyone to do just that before we start. Mm. Paimon, do you have any interest in being the leader? How about you? Hey, you can do that. Why not? If not for your strength, we wouldn't have made it this far. We're just here to support you. I'm not going to overstep on what's been a relaxing time so far. Uh, wouldn't that make me a great master of sorts? Let's go with that. Uh, that seems tiring, forget it. Uh, if you do become one someday, don't forget to make Paimon the other night. Uh, now there's a time I know Paimon can get behind. Whatever the case, not only can you can not only you can be the leader for this adventure team, that's what everyone wants. So stop trying to push it off to someone else. We'll support you. Alright, alright. Uh, this leader business used to be so much easier. Um No matter what name of our organization is, we are all part of the Narcissus and Croats adventure team. We have a common goal to rescue Princess Lyris. Miss Lyris. Or Miss Lyris. And we intend to save the Narcissus and Croats kingdom. Republic. <laughs> Gross. Threatening. Uh, please continue in. And we start the lane and water is here to the original gleaming shimmer through the Reconquista. So that the sunflowers sunflowers may once more flourish. Am I not right about that? That's right. 
We have experienced many battles and part in during the long years of conflict. Uh, many team members we once had are no longer with us. But I won't forget the times we spent together, we will always be friends. That's right, even if I am our leader, I am everyone's friend, first and foremost. The same goes for you, Colonel Kate, Jack. Don't forget your friendship over differences in ideals and perspectives. And it's being super mature right now, huh? Bravo. Applauds. That can't have been easy. Bravo. Come on, stop teasing me. With the Ignite Ignus and Pymo said, hey, age, we were finally able to obtain the princess's treasure, time that was once frozen will flow again, and we will rescue her. For that, Ignus and Pymo, I thank you. You should always be. You will always be our friend. I believe that our princess would also be glad to call you such. Okay, I'm done now. Bravo. Bravo, applause. Nice, alright. What do we do next? Well, now I think it's time to unleash the treasure's power on the stagnant tower. This way, it's time to flow once more. Like this. Hmm. No, I thought it would be a domain. Whoa. My thanks, Ignus. Now, unfortunately, I fear that none of us, the team, know what will happen next. But since the Princess Tower has been unsealed, we should move as soon as we can, right? Right, you are, Petit Cho. Let's go. Fine, fine, boom! Can't see? So, I'll uproot you! Coming through! Scratch that! Express delivery! Squall and Fury! Bow your head! I hear everything. Jumpy Dumpty Go! Blow them all up! Ha. Boom! Ha. Boom! Ha. Man, the music's too low here. Little mess with the options, the settings. Why do Narcissus little minions all need so many titles? The more useless the person, the more hats they need. Actually, they are my warriors who have caused us much harm during previous engagements. If the battle seemed easy, it was due to your great might. Sorry, Nine Ignus, but our attacks can do nothing against this henchman. So, it is all up to you. Is it peasy? Bit of a close, sh close shave, I'd say. Yeah. You know, where is Princess Lyris? Doesn't look like sh there's any path ahead. To be honest, I didn't think this far either. Let's keep going up, shall we? How do we do that? With water. You can fly up there, Paimon. Well, even if Paimon could do that, what would she do if she encountered Narcissus minions? And if all the kingdom's treasures were up there, it would only feel like we found them if we were there too. Go up, you say, I understand. We do, one and all, have a certain amount of power. It is all magic given to us by the princess, yes? But we can do some things with it. But if we do, we were all born from the same source. I don't see why you would be unable to understand and accept this. Has this not happened before? I know, I know all this in theory. I just hate these things. I don't know why, but I just do. Don't make such a face, and we were born from the same waters, and we are only this way because we bond ourselves into different shapes using thin films to keep the princess company. Coming together once again for her sake is not strange at all. Wait, what are you all talking about? 
As long as we forsake our forms and join together, we can produce greater magic. This way, we can send you to the Taurus Apex. Wait, but if you do that, can you just lower the water again? And in a word, friend, we came from the same body of water, so gave up of our forms. It's not the same as what you call death. Pure waters can turn into creatures of all sorts, and such changes do not only go one way. Mm, yep, even if we cannot adventure or fight alongside you, we can still progress together. And then Inus, Paimon, what do you say? This is not our decision to make. Only you can decide what your adventure team will do. Only you can decide whether we proceed or not. This is our story. You're right, Inus, but... Give us your, our orders, ma'am. The towers still have been broken, which means they can no longer hold our scissors back. Every moment counts. Alright, I'm calling on all of you. Orders received. Uh, leave it to us. Go with Ignus and Paimo and make sure to save the princess. Uh, leave, I leave Miss Iris in your hand. In that case, dear Petty Show, Murray, Colonel Kate, and Jack. Okay, bye bye. Uh, it's just what happened at Morris Fountain. Our power is derived from the princess, so if so resolved, we can manifest it once more. Uh, put yourself together and let's go. The like Inus Paimon. Okay, what about you? You were made of water. Uh, water is formless. What comes from water will surely return to it. We once we rescue Prince Lyris, she shall be able to bring them back. Uh, it's just a portal. Where does this one lead, though? Mm, I'm not sure either. To be honest, I have never considered what will happen after we enter the tower. Uh, oh well, in that case, let's proceed with caution. We more proceeding or more caution? Let's see what's on the other side. Come on, both. Yes, we should be careful. We are the only ones the princess can rely on. Oh, maybe a little warning next time. Hmm. I'm almost kind of dizzy. There are so many books here. Is this a library? Is this a bookstore? Library. This place. This library has existed since long, long before it arrived. Their content seems to be ancient dramas. Children love to read books, but there is much they won't understand, so they will often ask, ask adults to read the stories to them. In the books, where there is an evil dragon, there must be heroes who hunt the dragon. If there is a mage, there must be a wandering knight. The Reconquista must, co must come to pass, and the princess must be saved. And of course, a charm will sound, and the tale of adventure will continue, will come to a halt. Yet, it will not end. There will be another adventure, and another, and another one after that. Until the children go up and leave this place. And? Uh, I, sorry. It felt like memories in Phoenix suddenly flooded into my mind. How strange. Uh, well, as long as you're right, alright, Paimon thought you might have been bewitched by Narcissus magic or something. Uh, that might actually be so. Uh, well, what do we do next? I'm not sure either. Whatever the case, let's have a look around. Yep, first off, there's a door right over there, uh, but it looks like there's no way through it. You two should be able to get across. Hey, you are ends night right now, you know? This would be all pointless if you don't come along. That's right. 
the style sticks out uh, like a sort of uh, this may be some sort of path this may be a trap no one doesn't know either but let's go all the same oh this is the second part well but can i teleport here whatever i want I can come here wherever I want. So yeah, I'm gonna stop here. And continue. I another part just started now, so I have no idea how long this can be. I thought I was almost over. Uh oh yeah, one more thing before going out. Let's try to get a one lady. No. Uh, oh, I have one boss. No, as well. Farewell, and I'm out.